What's up, baby? Hey, thanks, Journey. Say hey. Say hey. <laughs> hey. What's going on, Facebook? What's going on, Facebook? Hey, hope everybody is driving safely. We are on our way, on our way, on our way. We're going to see some family. Uh, I can't even mention the state. We're just going to say that state up north. <laughs> we can't even mention the state. Um, hope everybody is traveling safely. I know there's some beautiful, beautiful smelling uh, just fragrances in everybody's home right now. I know everybody's having a great time. Uh, <laughs> my guy, what's going on, Mike? I know everybody's having a good time with family. Uh, I know everybody's either preparing food right now or preparing to eat. Uh, I think I've been eating Thanksgiving food for the past couple of days. Had a chance to meet with some good friends last night and serve the community, but not here to talk about that. I wanna get a couple of things off my chest real quick while I'm in traffic. Um, a few different things. First of all, with 2017 ending right now, I know we talk a lot about goals. I know we talk a lot about achievement. Um, I know we talk talk a lot about dreams. Um, I want you guys to have a healthy awareness of where you are right now. Um, at church this past Sunday, they were reciting a couple of scriptures that talk about uh, self-awareness and self-discovery and how you'll continue to live the same mistakes over and over and over and over again until you come to a healthy awareness of exactly what you did or did not do, or you come to a game plan of how you're going to address those situations differently. Right? You can't continue to live the same life over and over. I, it used to blow my mind. You, you counting, baby? Oh, okay. All right. The, yeah, the background noise added by my little one, of course. Um, it, it used to blow my mind how a lot of people who are much, much older, I felt that they automatically knew more just because of their age. But I feel like a lot of people graduate at age 18 but continue to live the same life over and over, year after year after year after year when you are getting a report card every single year, right? You're getting a, a semester report every single, every single semester, every single quarter, you are getting a report on your life, but how often are you paying attention to that? How often are you saying, you know what? Okay, maybe the report of my life is the fruit that it's bearing. Maybe the report of my life are the relationships that I have right now. Maybe the report of my life that I have right now are the people that are in my life right now. The first thing I want you guys to do is take full ownership, right? And I even pray to myself now, Lord, everything that I'm saying, everything that I'm saying on Facebook, please make sure that I'm applying this in my own life, right? But take ownership of exactly where you are right now. Understand that everything you have in your life, I don't care if it's good, I don't care if it's bad. I don't care if it's good. I don't care if it's bad. I don't care what it is in your life right now. You have to take full ownership of it. All right? If you get in a car accident right now, it is your fault. If, if something bad happens to your business, it is your fault. I don't care what it is. I don't care if it was a conversation that was had. It is your fault. But are you taking notice of it? Right? Are you continuing to make the same mistakes over and over and over again? There was a, yeah, I believe it's a Chinese proverb that says, if you know the enemy, you can defeat the enemy. Well, what enemy is in your life, right? If you look at the word enemy, enemy, in, the enemy inside of me, typically the one that's most, you know, ruining your life is you. So when are you going to take awareness of that? I, I like to write in my journal every single night, you know, how things went during that day. I pay a lot of attention to my feelings, right? I pay a lot of attention to uh, what, what point of the days did I get down? What was I thinking about when I got down? Uh, what, what kind of people did I have in my life today? What type of thoughts was I thinking? Because again, with the law of attraction, you will attract not necessarily everything you think about, but what you think about most of the time. And what that's going to do is it's going to have a lot to do with your feelings. So you don't have to be fearful. Hey, am I thinking something bad right now? No, pay attention to do you feel good or do you feel bad? Right? Do you feel good or do you feel bad? Typically, if you feel good, when well, most of the things that you're thinking about, you bring to yourself, you're going to have a great day. Awesome. But if you feel bad, if you feel anxiety, if you feel uh, frustration or failure or anything like that, well more than likely you are bringing that into your life as well. So making sure at this point in 2017, I'm sorry, 2016, look, I'm already in there. I'm already in 2017. 
write down, hey, what were the top thi- top 10 things this year that I was able to accomplish? Start with what you did right. And then take a look. Hopefully you did write your goals down in the beginning of the year and say, okay, what things did I not have a chance to accomplish this year? And why not? You know, what type of things am I dealing with internally in my relationships, in my fitness life, in my business, in my finances? What type of things am I doing over and over and over? I listened to an audio that was suggested by a mentor of mine, and it's funny, I've been listening to it for years, but you know, that, that same book that you read over and over and over, it seems like every time you read it, something new happens in the book. Well, there's nothing new about the book. You just seem to change. So now I'm a different name and listening to that audio, and Man, being coachable and teachable, right? These audios I heard years ago, but are you being coachable and teachable? Are you willing to learn and are you willing to change? A lot of us, if you're listening to me right now, you are willing to change. I'm sorry, you are willing to learn. You might not necessarily be willing to change. So making an evaluation of that. Now I wanna take a step back. I wanna uh, wanna, wanna, uh, just come back a little bit real quick. Guys, if you have a dream, If you have something that you're looking to accomplish, you must make sure you protect that. With all of your might, you must protect your dream. My uh, my, my love said something to me the other day and it it just resonated so much. She just said, you know what? Stop telling people your dream. Stop telling people your goals. I heard somebody once say that, If the goal was given to you, if the dream was given to you, if it's in your heart and the Bible says God will give you the desires of your heart, God already knew it was there. I believe that God placed it there. So it's not for up for anybody else to decide whether that's going to happen or not. Trust me, there's going to be people in your lives. It could be friends. It could be family. It could be so many different people. It could be the, I mean, people that you would even look up to that may try to steal your dream. You have to hold it. Will Smith said, hey, you, you got to keep it close to you like a baby. Your dream, when it's in, when, when it's in the fetal stage, when, it, when you just are thinking about it, that's when it's most susceptible to be taken away, right? When a baby is first born, you got to care for it. You got to nurture it. You got to look after it. You got to feed it. You got to clothe it. When your dream first comes to you, it is, it is of utmost importance that you keep it close to you. No one decides your dream but you. No one. Imagine Steph Curry, right? You you guys know Steph Curry. I think the guy hit 17 threes in one game. It's an NBA record. Imagine coming out of the coming out of uh, uh, high school. I mean, this guy's always had the odds stacked against him the entire time. But he had a dream, right? He gets to Davidson, one of the smallest D1 schools in America. Had all the odds stacked against him. He was too skinny. He was too slow. He wasn't on a good program. You know what? Your dad played, but you know what? You're not good enough. What do you do? On on the national stage, he held to his dream. He kept it going. What did he do then? Goes to the NBA. Everybody in the NBA is already doubting him. Already saying this guy's not going to make it. He's not good enough. He's not athletic enough. He's not a true point guard. He's just a shooter. He shoots weird. Yeah, he's effective. Yeah, he scored 32 against North Carolina in a a national tournament, but he's not going to make it. (laughs) What did he do? Can you imagine? There were probably some friends. There were probably some people that thought a lot about him that said, you know what, you're, you're, you're already a multimillionaire. Your father's well-to-do. Man, this basketball thing is not going to work for you. Why don't you, just, why don't you just run the family business? Hey, your wife, your girlfriend, she's successful already. She has a, um, a great cooking career going. She's, a, she's a, a, a chef. She's doing great. Support her in that. Just do that. <laughs> what if he would have said, yeah, you know what? You're right. Guys, your dream is is everything. You never know who's looking at you right now, who's watching you right now, who's waiting for you to succeed, for you to be the example that pushes them towards success. Just because somebody else didn't do it doesn't mean you can't do it. I'm talking to you about this because someone almost stole my dream. Yeah, me. (laughs) Someone almost stole my dream. They said, you know what? And, And you know what? I love them. I, I love these people, you know what I mean? Because because they really do give you perspective, but it's so important to pay attention who you're listening to, which takes me back to my point, you attracted it. There was a vibe. <laughs> there was a vibe that you were giving off that said, you know what? I'm not quite sure if this is going to work. So what happens is you attract the conversation that says, 
It's not going to work. And then your dream is taken away. Guys, when you believe, oh man, when, when you believe like you believe like you believe, then you'll get there. Period. I don't care who it is. You'll get there. If that's what you want to do and you have a magnificent obsession and you have a burning desire for its achievement, you'll get there. All right. So I just wanted to talk to you guys about a couple of those things. Um, um, as I said, we are on our way. Still stuck in traffic. My face is not red all the time. I'm just behind taillights. Um, how you doing, baby? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> and look at this one. Knocked. Oh. Yes. How you feel about that? Dreams, baby. Talk about you. If somebody tried to steal my dream, baby. Would you tell me? I told you stop telling people your business. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's your dream, baby? What's your dream? So you want me to tell everybody my dream so they can go and steal it? Coachable and teachable. See what I'm talking about, baby? Yeah, yeah. Hey, so listen, you guys. Have an incredible, incredible, incredible day. Have an incredible Thanksgiving. Uh, task to do. I like to give an assignment. Go get a journal. <laughs> Go get yourself a journal. Get a journal for 2017. I want you to take out at least 15 minutes and write down everything that you have accomplished. Notice my words. Everything that you have accomplished in 2017. Not everything that you're going to do. Not everything that you want to do. I want you to see it before it's already done. Everything that you've accomplished. I want to congratulate every single one of you that hear my voice right now. 2017 was the most miraculous lit year that you've ever had. Your, your health was at another level. Your, your uh, finances were at another level. Uh, your, your spirituality was at another level. Your relationships, oh my goodness, just incredible people came into your life in 2017. Your your uh, your awareness was at another level. Your personal growth was at another another level. Your business, oh my goodness, your business grew to to magnificent heights in 2017, and and, and it was your best year yet. So, guys, go get a go get a 2017 journal and write down everything that happened in that year for you. And then I also want you guys to make make personal account right. Know yourself. Know what, know what makes you upset. Write that down. If you had a bad day, hey, there's nothing wrong with having a bad day, but repeating it because of the same thoughts over and over, that's called insanity. Write down, hey, I got discouraged at 1.30 because, you know what, these were my thoughts. Maybe take a pen and piece of paper out when you have those thoughts and say, okay, this, this is what drove me to that. Because typically, your belief system is going to give you every, not typically, all the time. Your belief system is going to manifest everything you want. Your belief system are are your feelings. It are the, it is the things that you're thinking about. It is the things that you're looking at. It is the things that you're hearing. So typically, the things that you're thinking about are coming from one of those two places: what you're hearing and what you're seeing. So I just wanted to encourage you guys. You got anything else, baby? Happy holidays. The best speakers make the fewest words go the farthest. <laughs> Now you see why I love her so much. Guys, happy holidays. Have an incredible Thanksgiving. We will see you all soon. It was your best year ever. Personal accountability. Have an amazing day.